Kathy Chow Isaacs at I Wear the Crowns, and we are back um, looking at activity three, part two of activity three in lesson seven of Python 101, the emergency response um, activity. So thanks for joining us. We are on part two of the activity. And what we just did was we built the foundation of, um, of a house. We had the agent looking for or detecting redstone in its path. And if redstone was there, uh, it placed the block to its left. And then it also, in this activity, um, made a left turn if it detected left redstone to the left, okay? So let's take a peek at what the task is um, on this side. So now we have um, another foundation to build. And if we walk around, we're gonna see there's the redstone for sure. There are left turns for sure. And then there are also right turns, okay? Um, so we have a few right turns and then back to left turns. And it looks like uh, left, left, left with the um, with a right turn built in every now and then. So um, let's go ahead and hit C to code. Oh, we need a third loop, third loop in here. So that's going to be also a while loop. So this is after, so we know um, it's gonna have the same level of indent. Um, as the first while loop and we're going to say while while true while what is true while agent detects redstone to the right oops right in all caps okay i'm making sure my colon is there pass the following code through it Okay, place a block to the left. Okay, so I have that code. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it, making sure that the indents work out. I need an agent move forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that one from above. Okay, place a block to the left. So we're, if there's a block to, if there's redstone to the right, we want the agent to place to the left, move forward, place another to the left, and then move back. Okay, so I need this code, agent move back, all caps, and then agent turn to the right. So I'm gonna grab this one. Oh, and that's interesting, right? Okay, that seemed very easy. I don't feel like I mean, good, it's easy. <laughs> I feel like, oh, here, maybe this, and we'll do this as well. Just make sure. Oh, isn't that, a... wait a minute. All right, we'll have to see. We see that there are no problems. This is saying this is the end of while loop three, and this is the end of one. So that's just kind of saying that both these loops exist within one. All right. So this could be the quickest, um, the quickest solve of the last activity in three, the last part two of three ever. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what happens. We're gonna hit play to compile and run the code. And let's just watch, I'm gonna come in here and see. All right, so the agent, it's doing its thing. It's making left turns. Oh my, it made a right turn. It did it. No, it didn't, it's stuck stuck in a loop, stuck in an infinite loop. It's not, it's not figuring it out. Okay, so we need to stop this code. Let's go ahead and tap C to go back to the code builder. So now um, let's also actually, let's go to, let's go back to the NPC and reset the code. Okay, and um, we'll try to follow what we have coded here, right? So we're saying, okay, agent, if the agent detects redstone, move forward, okay? We'll be the agent, okay? Move place, place here, then move forward. Great. And then now we're on the spot, place here, move forward. Okay, this all makes sense. Okay, so now we're on this block. Or are we? We're here. The agent 
placed left and has moved forward, and now it detected left. So we need to turn left, move forward. Let's see what that does. While agent detects redstone to the left, turn left, move forward. So it's not placing this time, okay? So while agent detect left, turn left, move forward, okay? And then, um, then back to this. There's no right yet, okay, no rights yet. All right, so this can proceed like no problem. Again, we detect something to the left, so we're gonna turn left and then move forward, placing left, move forward, placing left, move forward, placing left, move forward. So now we're here, okay, we have, oh, that's what it is. So what happens here is there's, it's looking forward, it's looking to the left, there's nothing. But then we're saying, if there's something to the right, um, place left, move forward, place left, back. So this might have to be, um, we might have to switch these loops, loop two and loop three. Right, so that um, it's almost like loop three is less likely to happen. So if we put that one first before loop two, then we might not run into that issue. So I'm going to highlight all of this code. And because um, what it does, remember, is the computer will check in the order that it sees. So